It's been a couple of months since I made this video talking about the proposed glitches we may see in Tears of the Kingdom, and since then we have seen a ton more gameplay to even just recently one of the best game trailers ever. These gave us so many new mechanics, items, enemies, locations, and story. And in this video, I wanted to quickly go through some more guesses for what glitches we will see, and how this will affect the brand new speedruns for the game. Make sure you're subscribed so when brand new glitches are discovered, you don't miss them. Starting off, I just wanted to clear up a few things I spoke about in the last video, which now we pretty much know for certain. These glitches that we can confirm won't be coming back include all room-based glitches in Breath of the Wild, including ones such as Wind Bombing and BLSS. As it's quite clear, we have a brand new set of runes in Tears of the Kingdom. Another thing I touched on was the menu glitches, such as item duplication and weapon smuggling. From what we have seen in the gameplay reveal, the UI itself looks extremely similar, and even though we haven't seen much of the inventory system, I feel like it's quite likely that it will remain the same, as it doesn't really seem necessary to change something that worked well in Breath of the Wild. Other glitches I touched upon, such as shield clipping and whistle sprinting, still remain with the same likelihood, as we haven't seen anything that outright confirms or denies them being in the game yet. Now, into the bulk of the video, as we are going to be discussing all the new stuff shown to us, both in the gameplay and in the trailer, and how these mechanics or items can be used to break the game. Now, with the gameplay reveal, we now know what and how the four rune-like abilities work. These are Recall, which reverses time on objects, Fuse, which allows us to fuse together items, Ascend, which causes Link to jump up through a ceiling, and lastly, Ultra Hand, which is probably the most game-breaking one, as it allows Link to use objects and glue them together to build whatever the player can think of. While on the topic of Ultra Hand, I previously predicted that we would be able to build set vehicles, but now we know that you can build whatever you want, which means that there is most likely going to be broken vehicles you will be able to build as the possibilities are endless. For example, a specific build could be able to skip certain sections of the game with ease, or even be used to glitch out of bounds. Once these are discovered, it also gives speedrunning such variety and possibilities, as I believe that glitch hunters will have tons of fun discovering broken builds. Aside from Ultra Hand, the other abilities are much more straightforward. For instance, Ascend will most likely have some jank spots where you'll be able to skip large sections or ascend to somewhere where you aren't meant to be. With Fuse, I feel like there won't necessarily be many glitches as it's quite a basic ability, but with the many combinations made from fusing things together, we might see weird interactions with either enemies or geometries in the world and cause some sort of glitch to occur, but we won't be able to tell too much till we start fusing things together. The last ability to talk about is Recall, which I feel might share some similarities with the Stasis Rune, so we might see some glitches such as quick movement launches or weird enemy interactions. The set of runes we have been shown in Tears of the Kingdom not only get me excited for their use casually, but also in speedruns, as there are so many opportunities to use these in really cool ways. Hope you guys enjoyed this quick update on what we could expect to see when it comes to Tears of the Kingdom glitches, and remember to subscribe as I'll have a ton more videos out when Tears of the Kingdom releases on glitches and other Tears of the Kingdom content.